Now the reason I ask her for that dollar is because Sparky doesn't know her and he might not want to fly to someone he's never met before. As you'll see in Heaven Almighty, we train our birds to recognize and fly to common objects. It could be anything, but here at this show we use a dollar. Perfect. Can you fold that in half for me? In half. And then in half. One more time, same way. Uh, you place that between two fingers with your arms straight out to the side. Stay still, Sparky's going to see that and know exactly where to fly. Aww. Aww. Thanks, ma'am. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Anyone on this side with a 20? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'll get this back to you. Mind standing up for me? We're going to make it a little easier on him, though, this I time. I'll have you put both arms out. I have no idea. Perfect. That now you flap real hard, flat on here and get it. <laughs> Not for a dollar, that's okay. Just the one arm out, palm up like a little landing pad. Perfect. Okay, Sparky, she's been a good sport. Go ahead and take it and put it right back where you found it. Aww. And folks, that's Sparky. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Sparky. That was perfect. Little buddy, way to start the show. Okay, you, my friend, are all done. Can you take your snacks to go? Off you go. Okay, check it out. Our stage hand. Not only do we get to work with cute little birds like Sparky, sometimes we challenge ourselves with something larger, like a bird of prey. As you'll see in the Universal Picture Lady Hawk, Matthew Broderick catches that hawk with precision and grace and a spectacular feat of flight. We're going to recreate a little bit of movie magic. If you focus your attention to the closed box at the top corner of our arena, we're going to fly down a star from 310 to Yuma. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Arrow. <laughs> Bread, African auger, buzzard, part of the raptor family, a group of birds consisting of hawks, kites, falcons, vultures, eagles, and owls. We're going to introduce you to a cousin of arrows in a rare close up appearance. Say hello to Iris and Olympus. Olympus are both Eurasian eagle owls. You might recognize them from the Harry Potter movies. You would have also seen them in episodes of Bones, CSI Miami, and they were just in a gecko commercial. Although these birds are not endangered, many of our native species are. We ask that you do your part for all animals so that beautiful majestic creatures just like these will never become endangered. Universal. Everyone meet Sweet Pea. her into a strong current of wind. Once in flight, take a look at the screen in the center of the stage and you'll see how it comes together in the movies. questions we get asked here at this show is how do your dogs land a role in a movie or a television series? Well, it all starts with some basic training, so to help demonstrate that, we're going to bring out a brand new animal star. This is Clover! Wow! Hi, little lady, welcome out! In addition to knowing a number of basic behaviors, our dogs also need to be able to recognize hand cues and verbal cues, so I'll show you some of them right here with Clover. You ready? You're so excited. Come on here. Come here. Good. Start with the sit. Good. Lie down. Thank <laughs> you. 
slide him? Stay. I know, you really like this one. It's a brand new one. Let's see if you can do it. Yeah, there you go, Fred. Oh, oh, all right, good girl. Clover, nicely done. <laughs> Thank you. That was nothing more advanced, and this is what we call a work away, but to demonstrate that, I need help from a young lady, little girl not afraid of animals. Young lady right there in the pink shirt, your hand shot up. Come on over. Pink shirt, yeah, right there in the landing. Hi, Clover. <laughs> I'll meet you right over here at the top of these stairs. You can come on up. Jalen, you're going on. <laughs> Hi. What's your name? Black Hi. Mamba. Riley, where are you from? Arizona. Arizona, welcome to Hollywood. You're going to have a seat right there in that chair for me. You can sit back and relax. I'll get your co-star set up. A really important tool we use on movie sets is something called a mark. It's just a simple black circle, but I can place it anywhere on our set, and Clover knows where I want her to stand in the scene. Are you ready? Okay, go back. Good. Sit. Sit. On the floor, your butt, thank you. Now when she's on that mark, the way I can make it look like she's interacting with her co-star, I'll take one of her favorite doggy treats, place it right here in front of Riley. That way she knows where to focus her attention. Then I can move behind her off camera and give her some verbal cues. That's why it's called the work away. <laughs> Riley, these are for Clover. Stay. Good Clover. Watch it. Good. On your feet. On your feet. Good. Lie down. Lie down. Okay, let's try. Sit. Lie down. There you go. Side. Head down. Straight up. On your feet. Lie down. No cheating. Lie down. All right, you can have it. All right. <laughs> Folks, that's Clover and the work away. Good girl, little Clover. You might better. Hold on, hold on, Riley. I've got some goodies for you. I can go, Clover. Perfect, Riley. Come on over here. I've got a Universal Express Pass for you, and you're officially a trainer for the day. Thank you. Have a round of applause for our actress. Not only do our animal stars have to take direction from a trainer, sometimes they have to take direction from an actor. So I need a young gentleman for this part. Young boy not afraid of animals who wants to come help me out here on stage. Young gentleman right there looks like yeah, Mohawk. Yeah, come on up. Come on down. I'll meet you right here at the stairs. Hi. What's your name? Cody. Cody and Ray. Nora J. Welcome to Hollywood. You're going to have a seat right there in that chair for me. You will be our actor. Perfect. Now that we have an actor, we need an animal co-star. He was in A Dog's Purpose. He played Bailey. This is Trip. Hi, oh, big guy. Okay, so this is really simple. Backstage, we have a huge pile of clothes. Anything you can think of. Hats, shirts, shoes, socks, hats, anything. What I need you to do is think of two pieces of clothing. When you have them in your head, you can tell Trip, and he's going to bring them out for us. You got two pieces of clothing in your head? Perfect. You can tell. Can you tell him too? Perfect. All right, Trippy boy, you heard the man. Go on back there. Folks, I know what you're thinking. This is not a trick. This is a trained behavior. He runs backstage, takes you this huge pile, taking direction from our actor. Thanks, Trip. Okay, he brought you a hat. Did you ask for a hat? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Great, folks. You got the first one right. Wow. Good job, Trip. Okay, go get that second one. Once he gets the first one right, he never misses the second one. This is going to be a 100% show. He's going to bring out exactly. <laughs> Trip? Trip, where'd you get this? in the wrong dressing room. You did a good job though. Stand up for me. Wave to all your Hollywood fans. Big wave. Nice. Okay. No? You want to sit? That's good. Here's a treat. I'm just kidding. You can leave it. You don't want it. You're doing a good job. Can I keep you around for one more scene? 
Yeah, you want to stick around? Take a walk with me. Oftentimes on movie sets, the directors want our dogs to do things they have never done before, like go over, around, or through something they've never seen. It's our job as our trainers to help them through it, so we're going to show you how it's done with two of our favorite animal stars. On the one count, Emmy and Dusty. When our dogs go in an audition, we love to give them encouragement, so we need your help. Everyone on this happily arena, you are on Team Emmy. She's that little shaggy dog. You would have seen her in a Chewy.com commercial. When I say lights, camera, action, I need you to cheer her on as loud as you can. Let's try it. Lights, camera, action! Nice, that was really good. Okay, let's see if you can do even better. Everyone on this half of the arena, you are on Team Dusty. He's that larger shaggy dog. He plays Max here at the park during Grinchmas. You know what to do? Lights, camera, action! Okay, let's explain our scene. The director wants the dogs one by one to start by jumping over our human hurdle. We in and out of these poles, shoot through that tunnel, jump back over our actor and finish off by ringing the bell. We can only have one audition at a time. Team Emmy, you'll be up first. Lights, camera, action! <laughs> is fired up. Okay, Dusty is a high flyer, so let's see. Lights, camera, action! Amanda, Amanda, you didn't do any of it. We can just redo it. It's fine. No, no, no. Oh, stand up, Cody. You're done. I'm really sorry. It's going to get warmer. That'll dry. Sun's out. Don't worry about it. Just don't touch it. You did a good job. Thank you so much for your help. We are also going to give you a Universal Express Pass and you're officially a trainer for the day. Thank you. Have a round of applause for our husband. Amanda, what up? Oh, my sweet baby boy. This is terrible. He's dead. Oh, you're dead. <laughs>
cast of Universal's Animal Actors. the exits. Remember to use the stairs and please don't climb over the benches for your own safety. Universal Studios and the American Humane Association would like to remind you that the next time you're looking to adopt a pet, please check your local rescue or shelters first. You'll be glad you did.